Festival of the Lost is in full swing and with that comes three brand new bug themed armor sets. And today I want to share my thoughts on the set and help you decide whether or not you should grab the armor for yourself. And if you've already bought the set, don't worry, I have some great fashion ideas from other guardians from around the community for you to take a look at. For example, here's what I put together using the armor. How did I do? Drip or drown? Let me know in the comments down below. I think I'm pretty happy with them, but I feel like the warlock could have been a little bit better. We'll get into that a little bit later. First, let's knock out some common questions that I keep getting. Are there any parts of the armor that don't shade? Nope, everything can be shaded and you have full control here. If you have any specific shader in mind that you want to see, go ahead and check out this video right here. Are these available for Bright Dust? Yes, you can purchase these with 6,000 Bright Dust or 1,500 silver each. How long will they be available? These will be available all the way up to November 7th. Is there any cool glow or effects on the armor? Not for the Hunter and the Titan, sadly. I thought that the eyes did at first, but that was not the case. The Warlock, however, does have some glow on the face, the bond, and on the robes. Do the spider legs actually move? Yes, they move slowly and twitch a little bit. Fun fact though, the wings on the Warlock armor actually flap while you're in air, which I think is super neat. Now for the main question. Are these sets worth your hard-earned money? Personally, I would say yes, but for you, it could be different, so let me explain my reasoning here. What I look for in a set is for it to be easy to mix and match with other armor, because that means you'll be using it more often and getting your money's worth from the set. I believe the armor has tons of usability and fun armor combos with other pre-existing sets that you likely already have. Armor like the Crota's End, King's Fall, the Taken King set from the Ghost of the Deep Dungeon, Root of Nightmares, Epiello's Following, and even something like the Thorn Armor from Grasp of Avarice. If you have even one of those, I believe you'll be a happy camper. The Warlock set is a little bit different though because while it still looks very organic in nature, it also looks like ornate knight armor and it can be mixed with other armor like that. Armor that I would recommend that you try out with this set would be things like the Nemean set, the Iron Banner armor, Meridian Constellation, Last Wish, Righteous set, a lot of the Solstice armor, and I can honestly go on and on. It's very easy to work with, but is being easy to work with the only thing that you should judge a set by? Well, no. Destiny players also look for that wow factor, and this is where the Warlock set specifically starts to look like a bad deal for some players. Players like you and I want people at the tower to stop and look at us. You want that attention and you want people to ask you about your gear. The Warlock set lacks this potential, or at least the potential to easily achieve this. The set is very simple and clean, at least compared to the intricate details of the spider armor on the Titan and the Hunter. At least that's according to most of the community right now. The thing is, it's being compared to the spider sets. Looking at the Warlock a lot closer, you can see that the robes have the same level of detail as a lot of other beloved armor. I think some of the highlight features of the set are of course the moving wings that I mentioned earlier. I think Bungie should do more unique details like this moving forward. This is technically an older set, but the Crota's End armor also reacts whenever you get shot. I want to see something like that. Like imagine if they made SIVA armor and they had a bunch of moving cables all around you that reacted whenever you got hit or whenever you jumped. I also like the glow on the helmet, but to be frank with you, I don't really see myself using it all that often. I like the design and the glow on the bond and the general design of the boots. And that's actually one of my favorite pieces of the set, oddly enough, because I normally don't like warlock legs. They're usually boring, but I like the design here. I can really see myself incorporating these into my everyday fashion easily. The arms aren't bad, but there's also nothing special about them. They do serve as good filler armor in case you need something clean looking for gauntlets. Now let's compare that to what in my opinion is the best of the three sets and that is the Hunter. 
and this one does have that wow factor this one will turn lots of heads at the tower i'm honestly so surprised by this armor before i make reviews i spend some time creating several different armor combos that way i get a good feel for the armor and let me tell you there are so many possibilities here this set has tons of features that'll help it feel unique I like these spider legs on the shoulder that twitch a little bit when idle and can we talk about the fact that we finally have symmetrical hunter arms that's huge for hunters one of my favorite parts about this set is the cloak this thing has so many great small details i would not be surprised if the entire budget for the warlock set went just into the hunter cloak we have this crazy skeleton spider on the hood, this cool web design on the cape, and it's honestly one of my favorite cloaks in the game right now. The legs are also amazing and can single-handedly carry any outfit you make. I think these spider legs coming off of the hips are a really great design detail that really kind of attract your eyes there, and who doesn't like fur on armor? There is nothing stand out or bold about the chest piece, but it's still a fantastic filler piece. You can make this thing work with any theme you have going on. The only weak part about the set is going to be the helmet. There have definitely been worse, but it's not my thing and it's kind of creepy. Last but not least, we have the Titan set. This one is going to be hit or miss for people. If you're looking for something super unique, then this set is for you. There's no other set that can offer what this one can. Some of the most standout features on the set are of course the spider legs coming from your back, which contract and expand very slowly when you're idle. We also have the cool design on the front resembling a spider face. The spider legs on the forearm are also a really nice touch. I've always been a fan of Bungie adding stuff to Titan forearms. Usually we see this in the form of a blade. Also, fun fact that I discovered while making this video, whenever you punch, you actually don't see them for some reason. I wonder if they were removed from the first person view because it obstructed the player's view in game. The legs and the bond are also good, but there's nothing that really stands out about these. I expect people to still get some use out of them, but it's nothing really to feel FOMO about. A lot like the Hunter set, I really don't like the Spider Helm. I don't have much to say about it, other than it's ugly and I don't see myself using this at all. I could however see this becoming handy for like cosplays in Destiny in case you wanted to be something like the Iron Spider for example. Speaking of which, I promised you guys some fashion ideas so let me show you some of my favorite sets I've seen so far. Like this Man Spider cosplay from Techno Viking, you gotta love how creative the community can be sometimes. If you're craving some more comic book fashion, try this Blue Beetle from Emigen. I saw a few attempts at this and so far this one is my favorite one. It's also practical because it's using the synthoseps. If you're looking for something more creepy and crawly, check out this Titan from Opposite Being. I also wanted to highlight this set because it was using the Abeyant Leap Exotic, which is another perfect pairing for this armor. If black isn't your color, try this absolutely sinister set from Big Melon. I picked it because it looked sharp. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Get it? Because of the blades? Anyway, if you're struggling to find a good shader, try out the Scarlet Semblance. It looks great with the spider set. I even tried this with the first rendition of my own Titan, but I really wanted to use the Biosphere helmet, so instead, I used the Echoes of Io. All right, Hunters, your turn. Let's kick things off with the perfectly crafted set from Dafu Legend. If I didn't know better, I would have thought that this was a full set. Nothing looks out of place here, and the aphoatic legs are the perfect pairing for the spider chest piece. Don't believe me? Here's another great example made by one of my mods, Mango. I don't believe he was going for a Spider-Man look, but it definitely reminds me of him. Here is one of my favorites. This one was made by Screeb Explosion. It also shares a lot of the same pieces as my set, including the Omni Oculus ornament. I will say that I definitely prefer their helmet and shader choice over mine. Great job, dude. 
For those of you that wanted the Beetle Hunter instead of the Spider, I got you because this one is from one of my mods, Sundere, and it's the closest you'll probably get to that set. I bet that the Capri Sting exotic would look great with this. I'm going to start the Warlocks off strong with this set from Brump. In the world where almost everyone decided to avoid using the Warlock helmet, I applaud Brump for not only taking on the challenge, but he also made it look great. Also, the ossuary robes are the perfect combo for this, if you can get them to drop. Or is it? Take a look at this one from Raider who paired the helmet with the new Hexrot robes. I also have to give bonus points to this for using my favorite Controverse hold ornaments. Are you looking for some good helmets to pair with the robes? Try out the Mouth of Ur from the King's Fall raid. Both that and the Thorn Armor set are the perfect pairing for these robes. Next up, I have this set I wanted to show off because of how well the Nazarak Sin ornament fits with the robes. It has the same design language and it makes the Warlock look really tough. And don't worry, if you don't want to fork over the money for the ornament, the regular Nazarak Sin still looks great with the robes. It's what I ended up doing with my Warlock here, but I went for a more regal look for mine. It was inspired by that Fairy Knight artwork I showed you earlier. Alright, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I helped at least one of you make the decision on whether you want to purchase the armor or not. If you have any specific questions about the armor or if you want to share your thoughts on the sets, leave me a comment below. I try to respond to as many comments as possible throughout the day. And before you go, please subscribe and hit that like button on your way out. This video should be out on my birthday, so think about it as a birthday gift to me. Shout out to all of my Patreon members. Without you, this video would not be possible. You're the reason I can keep buying these sets and make reviews on them. In case you guys were considering buying any of the older armor, check out this video on the right, which ranks those sets in a tier list. Thanks again for coming and watching, and as always, stay beautiful.